Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about SQL comparison operators. So comparison operators in SQL are the simplest, I would say, very simple to understand and learn. So basically, it's good in terms of interviews as well that you know all these concepts and how to use in SQL. So basically, as the name suggests comparison, so you are comparing one value over the other or basically based on the comparison, you are trying to fetch certain values in the SQL. So different comparison operators in SQL so equal to if you want to find a particular value which is equal to certain value uh, there is an equal to sign then you have greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to or not equal to right so these are some of the comparison operator wherein you compare different values and then fetch the values based on the comparison in the SQL statement so let's quickly go back to the workbench and learn the comparison operator so let me open a new SQL file here okay now now we know that there are two tables in my database so if i want to select all the values in the customers table so i'll just select star from customers from customer basically the name is customer and run this so it will fetch me all the data that is there in the customer table right now if i have to specifically filter certain values based on the comparison so i can compare the values so if say for example a value is equal to something right so say for example the uh, the value that i want to fetch where the zip code is equal to 3000 right so i can simply say something like select star from customer uh, where zip code is equal to right so i can say 3000 so equal to is the uh, comparison so basically any value that is uh, having or any rows that are having zip code as 3000 the values will be fetched right so if i'll run this you will see there is one value or one row that has been fetched for which the zip code matched right so if i run or fetch all the values now right so i've selected just up to the customer and executed it has fetched me all the values so it has given me these values so if say for example i want to fetch the values which are 90 or zip code having 90989 then there are multiple rows so you'll see that it has fetched me two rows there okay so this is equal to now if we have something like greater than right so i can say greater than so any zip code which is greater than this value will be basically returned so if i run this you will see that the basically this is a sort of an integer or the number comparison so any number that is greater than this particular number in the list in the zip code will be returned as is okay now similarly greater than or equal to if i say so anything which is greater than this value and equal to values whichever are equal to this will be returned right so the values that are or the rows that have this zip code and anything greater than similarly it is less than right so if any values or any zip code which is less than the particular value then it will return all those values which are less than this particular value less than equal to will count everything or all the rows which are less than this particular value that you are comparing against and also will have the values or the rows which contain this particular value right so along with 90989 it has returned all the remaining values now the last one is basically not equal to right so not equal to you can specify with this particular sign okay so anything which is not equal to 90989 will be returned or you can also use not equal to with this symbol okay so exclamation mark and equal to is not equal to and it will return the exact same values okay so these are some of the comparison operators in sql pretty simple and easy so basically you can compare the results or responses based on the values that you specify so say for example we have been looking at comparing whether the value the or the row that you are fetching the column value is equal to particular value or column value is greater than or less than so that's what all comparison operator will do in sql now the next thing with comparison operator is now we have been using this with the zip code which is basically a number value right now can we use comparison operator with other data types for example string yes absolutely so we can also say and we have been doing this right so we have been anyways uh, searching with the where clause say for example i want to compare that the city is equal to melbourne right so i can simply say city is equal to so i'll i'll change it to city equal to and because this melbourne is a string so i can simply say melbourne right within the quotes 
and close it and if i'll run i'll get the values which will match or the rows which will match that particular city right so i can use it with other data types as well and compare the values right so similarly i can also club different values or different columns and then with the and clause right so i can say city is equal to melbourne and then i can say and an or clause as well so i can say and uh, zip code right so something like that so i can say uh, zip code is equal to 3000 right so it will return like the similar value but if we change it to something else so if we say let me look at all the customer data first okay so now if we say here instead of and we say or and then then we want the values which have the city as Melbourne or the zip code as 86736. Okay, so we can say zip code is equal to 86736. If I run this query, you will get the rows which have the city either Melbourne or this particular zip code, right? So here you can see I have used the comparison operator on a string and the number as well. So this is briefly about the comparison operator. Pretty simple, straightforward to compare different values and fetch the rows or the data according to the comparison getting that particular set of data. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.